What's good, YouTube? It's C Believe, aka Thinking 2015. This is a video I'm doing on beads. Um, I got into beads, I want to say, seven months ago. Um, I got it from a dude I know, but you know, I mean, getting uh, taking a hustle or taking um, something from somebody else, you have to switch it around, make it your own style. So I make beads totally different from what he does, but um, this is like. I want to say a quarter of my beads. These are all my personal ones. This is like a quarter of my beads. Um, I probably make a bead necklace or a bracelet every three days. You know, what I mean, it's just a it's a hobby of mine. At the same time, it's a it's an addiction. But um, let me show you a few things. This is um, I made this a while ago. This is um, my 9/11 piece. You know, when I make beads, it's, uh, there's some meaning towards it. Um, I'm just not putting stuff together and wearing it. And You know what I mean? These blocks right here, black at the top, and uh, red in the middle, remind me of the 9-11 towers. It's just something to me. This is a, a distress set, so it's not made to look brand new. You can see some of the blocks have some of the paint and the stuff coming off of it. It's not made to look brand new. It's not made to be shiny. If you look closely, I got the... Um, a boot around there you know what I mean um, like I said that's my 911 set um, I just thought of that when I was in the, in the store Michaels it's around my way it's called Michaels an art supply store I've been going to Michaels for like 17 years now since I was a young boy painting sneakers but uh, that's my 911 set this is my um it's another distress set with the red hearts on it um, these are all wood beads, they're all quality, you know what I mean? But uh, like I said, they're a little bit distressed. I like them that way, so, you know what I mean? I do have some shiny ones I'll show you. This is another one. Um, this one right here, I kind of made this. I first thought about, you know how back in the day rappers used to have the big dookie chains, you know what I mean? Just the big over oversized chains. I made this one right here, kind of like that. This is this is a uh, a necklace that you can never wear under a shirt. It's just too big. Um, at the top, you can see I got black hearts on it. Black hearts on it. Um, like I said, all quality beads. You know what I mean? Um, I did this one. I did this one four days ago. This is for the people that like shiny. You know what I mean? Like that brand new looking quality. Got black crosses on it. All the beads is high quality beads. You can see them. Like these these circle ones you see my thumb on right now. Um, I brought like 12 of them in a string. And it was like $8. So like I'm telling you like these cost money. You know what I mean? And just think about to make this is like a this is a big big chain. You know what I mean? So you're talking about talking about a couple of dollars to make that right there. That wasn't cheap. Um um, this is another one. This is a cross that I made. This cross is almost made like it's like that tile material. You know what I mean? Like you tile floors or you tile the bathroom. I do a little bit of home repair, so this is why um, I kind of know what it, it what it is. But you got that tile. It's a it's a heavy cross. It's not lightweight. Um, like I said, when I do my beads, there's a pattern to it. You're just not putting beads on a string and you know what I mean hopefully it looks good As you can see this is like 20 beads right here and then it goes small large it goes really small again switches the color I mean there's a pattern to it um, a little bit of tribal beads got that tribal look to it different uh like I said different patterns dark dark mid-sized beads small bead you know what I mean different patterns to it before you make a beaded necklace or a bracelet you have to you have to um, map out your pattern, which you're going to be doing before you start it. Um, just a simple brown wooded beaded bracelet. Um, inside is the, uh, the black elastic. It's really strong. Never breaks. I mean, um, some more bracelets. Bracelet with uh, the mask on them. You know what I mean? Got the faces. Um, wings. Um, this is the bracelet to that chain I just showed you with the crosses on it. Um, it's another one, kind of like ceramic beads. 
these uh kind of like that marble material you know what I mean I just thought this was a pretty cool looking one you know sometimes I wear these with my um my black and green half cents you know what I mean these are just accessories you know what I mean make your watch look better you know what I mean make your bracelet your, your gold you know what I mean bracelet look better on the side you know that's really what it is I did this for my my little mom and my daughter just a black bracelet with the gold highlights on the beads with the angels on it you could tell us for her because it's really small compared to compared to the other ones so this is what I do I'll do another video next time I'll show you the, um, another quarter of my beads and what I do if you want something done uh, send me a message in my inbox all you need to have is a PayPal account and you are uh, you send me the full amount plus shipping you just tell me where, you, where your zip code is I'll tell you how much shipping is send me the full amount it'll take me uh, two days to put it together and I'll ship it out to you with insurance and tracking information um, that's if you want something done message me on my inbox like I said keep coming back I'm gonna show you a lot more things that I, I do and stuff like that but like I said this is about beads you know I really do them um, what else did I want to say I got some new videos coming up. I got the my freestyle coming up. I'm gonna do a, a three minute freestyle. I've been talking about that for a while. I'm gonna do that. Um, if you look at my 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 picture on my my account, the picture to my joint, that's my brand new uh, CD cover for my mixtape Monster in the Dock. My man E just finished that. I think it came out great. Um, like I said, I'm working over here, man, trying to get things done. I wanted to point that out with the new, all that new uh, talk going on about Osama bin Laden being dead and they finally caught him. This is my tribute to 9-11. But at the same time, I'm not going to take nothing from that, but um, I still think it was a conspiracy. I don't think uh, bin Laden had anything to do with it. But that's just my thoughts. I don't really feel like getting into it, but this is my tribute for 9-11. Like I said, T-Believes, a.k.a. Thinking 2015, man. Come back to my page. Peace.